Hello everyone, my name is George Farmer, also known as the Aquascaper, and this video is all about my brand new setup featuring an Evolution Aqua Aquascaper 600 Aquarium, Evolution Aqua Superma Anthracite Cabinet, Evolution Aqua Lighting Kit, which is brushed stainless steel, and also um, the LED there, which is a Kessel A360 WE Tuner Sun. So I'll talk about the kit in, in detail and um, if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments below. So we'll start with the aquarium itself, this is an Evolution Aqua Aquascape 600. It's called a 600 because it measures 600mm long or 60cm. It's 50cm front to back and 36cm tall. Um, that's a great, great dimensions for an aquarium. It's uh, small enough to be able to stock an aquascape without costing too much but it also provides loads of room for creating an effective aquascape. I came up with the dimensions because I wanted a really uh, deep tank in, in terms of front to rear depth, so 50 centimetres is class leading in terms of that size. Um, it gives us a massive footprint to aquascape with. Um, the 36 centimetre tall uh, and the 60 centimetres left to right, that is a really nice aspect ratio visually, it's really aesthetically appealing. So um, it's. You know, it's one of the best size aquariums out there, I, I believe. Um, as I said, the glass is super wide glass. It's eight millimeters uh, thick. And as you can see in the video, hopefully, it's like a really kind of light blue color. If you compare that to a regular float iron uh, aquarium, they're like a dark green, and they're not, nowhere near as high clarity as this glass. It's really, really highly polished, and it has a minimum aris as well, which just makes it look really classy. Um, one of the most impressive things though, I believe is the minimum silicon work, it's absolutely flawless, you can hardly see it and that's the whole idea behind this aquarium. We want to be looking at what's inside the aquarium and not necessarily the aquarium itself, we want to be minimising the distraction of any equipment including the tank. So I'm just going to talk about the light unit for a little while now. Um, I get lots of questions about the lighting, every time I post a picture on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram etc um, featuring this light, people always ask what it is. So it's made by Kessel, Kessel an American company and Evolution Aqua are the UK distributor for Kessel. So this unit itself is an A360WE Tuner Sun. It's um, quite powerful, it's a maximum power of 90 watts, however it is adjustable uh, manually and automatically if you have the Kessel Spectral Controller and also the colour temperature is adjustable, again manually or automatically. There are two knobs on top of the unit and I'll just give you a quick demonstration on that. One's for intensity, so I'll just gradually turn that down until it goes off and then all the way up again, maximum brightness. And again it's colour temperature, that's 9000 Kelvin and then that's 6000 Kelvin. It has a built-in fan, it's very quiet, it's not distracting at all, it's probably no louder than most um, external canister filters. Uh, and it's a great unit, um, Kessel have a background in horticulture so they know about uh, how to grow plants. And I have to say, um, since I've been using the Kessels in my Aquascaper 1200, I haven't, you know, I've never experienced such great plant growth and I put that down, a lot of that down to the lighting. Um, the spectral controller is a very handy thing to have. You can automatically set your photo period, your, your intensity. You can ramp it up and you can ramp it down and you can also set the colour temperature. So you could, for instance, have a, a dusk till dawn setting. It's point source, it's a dense matrix LED. Um, so you get really quite strong glitter lines. But really noticeable contrast in light and shade in the, in the aquarium compared to so say, T5 lighting. And also like the way it reflects glitter lines off the, if you have any surface movement on the tank, you'll get lovely shadows cast on the ceiling which creates a really lovely sort of peaceful effect I think. But you can opt for the, the smaller version which is the Kessel A160 which is enough to grow plants in this size aquarium. So next I just want to talk a little about the lighting arm. This is, a, this is again a supplied by Evolution Aqua. It's called the Lighting Hanging Kit. It's made from brushed stainless steel and you do have to fit it yourself so you'll need a drill, um, a 7mm drill bit but everything else it comes with comprehensive instructions of how to fit it and it's great I think it looks absolutely amazing um, I fit this yesterday absolutely no problem it took me about 10 minutes and yeah it's just really classy I love suspending lighting I'd much rather have my lighting suspended over the tank it just makes maintenance much easier it just allows you to look into the tank and just adds another dimension to the aquascape 
So really, really high quality. I've used some stainless steel cable ties here as well. I need some more, so just to tidy it up a little bit. Um, but as you can see, it looks really neat and tidy. And yeah, just a really, really nice addition to the, uh, to the Evolution Aqua uh, product range. Also, you can see at the side of the cabinet, we've got a pre-drilled hole with a, a grommet, a stainless steel effect uh, grommet there. And that's going to allow our filter hoses. Uh, we'll use clear hoses that will come out of here and they'll come up the side of the aquarium and we'll probably use some um, uh, glass lily pipes and glass inlet. And that's just going to help minimise any, any distraction in the aquascape again. I'd rather see uh, hoses coming over the side of the tank rather than the back of the tank because I tend not to have a background on, on the aquarium. So if you imagine any hoses running up and down the back that would look really distracting. That's why we have them coming through the side of the cabinet. So next I want to talk about the cabinet itself. So this is made by Evolution Aqua in the UK. They come pre-built, so when a customer buys them, they're already ready built. And one of the unique things about it is that every panel is sealed. So a lesser quality cabinet uh, has a lot of potential for water ingress. If that water is allowed to uh, soak into the wood, the wood will swell and the cabinet will twist and warp. And that looks ugly, but it also pre presents safety issues for the actual aquarium every panel is silicon sealed together and the build quality is amazing. Um, there's 16 different finishes available um, so there's something to suit every interior design. We've got wood finishes, textured finishes, different colours, um, it's just a really good range. My favourite is the super matte range which is uh, one of these, this is anthracite. We also do a cream and a, and a grey. So um, I like the like super matte finish because it's uh, much, much less prone for fingerprint marks. Um, my other Aquascaper 1200 cabinet is uh, gloss white, uh, which is great, but it tends to have quite harsh reflections, and yeah, especially for photography, and also you can see your fingerprint marks on it. So this is definitely my preference. Um, the cabinet also comes, or the aquarium also comes supplied with a foam mat, which hopefully you can't really see there. It's deliberately cut back. So it looks like a floating glass there, which works really well. Um, as I said, the cabinet itself, really good quality. It's a push to release door, like so. And we open the door there, and as you can see, loads of space there for your, for your equipment. So I'll have a, an external canister filter in there. I also have a pressurized CO2 kit, and there's, there's plenty of room for that, obviously. You can see here where I've attached the lighting arm. So just pre-drilled uh, a couple of seven mil holes there. Just measured it all up, nice and easy, no problem at all. And yeah, just really good quality. I've got a little Evolution Aqua badge there, which looks really nice. The door itself is soft closed, so if I just do that, it'll close really slowly, and then we can just push it, and now that door's shut. So really impressive cabinets. The tank and cabinet together, just a really awesome thing to have.